Hello, I am from Ishad Hapadia. I am from Nepal, that is an Asian country, a small mountainous and agricultural country. Uh, in Nepal, I am studying agriculture science and I feel that agriculture and climate change are inextricably related. And so I am working on the climate education and climate advocacy part in Nepal, in my country. And there I work as advocacy coordinator of Climates Nepal, that is the branch of Climates International based on Paris, France. I work as advocacy coordinator and I normally work for to raise the awareness and education about what are the issues going for climate change in developing countries and how we could go forward for adaptation there and how could uh, we um, mitigate the major mitigate the impacts among small rural farmers and uh, like this yeah okay. hi everyone my name is michael Lugi, spoken with artists from trinidad and tobago and i came to koi 13 and cup 23 for the experience and to learn right and to gather as much information as i can right so i could take back to my home country and educate through spoken with poetry um back home in Trinidad and tobago i am affiliated with a group called cyen caribbean youth environmental network i've also performed um at green screen which is a project an environmental project um of sustain tnt where they use film right and to educate secondary school students and uh spoken with poetry Right. I'm Matthias Edeto from Ghana. I'm a climate reality leader, creating awareness about solutions to climate crisis. I am also a research fellow with the Existing Governance and also engage, I mean, work with local government institutions in the past, and I've not ceased doing that, and also with a number of NGOs. So we can talk about the Ghana Impact International, which is concerned about the environmental protection and several other things doing with the livelihood and uh, women empowerment issues. My presence at COI, I see COI as a training ground to improve upon my policy literacy and to be able to advocate better and also influence policy. My focus is on the NDCs, national determined contributions, and looking at which ways as an individual I can contribute in my small ways to lead to not only policy influence, but really the implementation. In fact, that is the problem we have in Ghana and Africa, implementation, that's the issue. Ah, Koi so far has been really exciting. Uh, it's incredible to see so many youths coming together in one space to fight for one thing, right? Um, climate change. I think that in itself is, is magical uh, because um, not many youths, you see the world is so divided that everything is happening at different um, parts of the world. But COI has allowed youth to come together, especially um, from less developed countries, come together to, to um, you know, join their voices and fight for one thing. So for me, it was really, really interesting, real magical. Um, all the, uh, the workshops that I've been to were really informative and educational, right? So I think there should be a lot of other COI sessions in, in years to come. Uh, prior to COP, I think it's really important and it's essential. Uh, Youngo, the youth constituency to the UNF, UNFCCC or United Nations from the Convention on Climate Change. Um, I think for Youngo, we are focusing on policy and also youth actions, climate actions. And so with that, we are also focusing on climate justice and action for climate empowerment. And in fact, that is the Article 6 of the UNFOC and you can say Article 12 of the Paris Climate Agreement it has something to do with Article 11, talking about public awareness creation, participation, transparency, capacity building. That's right, yes. And it is the point that I want to express enormous gratitude to the Global South Scholarships and the brain behind it. Because uh, in recent past, uh, I have the opportunity to be at the SBF SB44, the 44th SBI uh, here in Germany. And when you look across, you see few of, uh, uh, I mean, few young people coming from the South or let's say from Africa. So with these mechanisms to have some sort of scholarship support for youths, is going to really help to include our participation in the policy. I think on this call, I also want to state that our physical presence at this event might not 
be the only avenue to make contributions. And Yongo actually have an online platform or email system that a lot of discussions go on. So on our own from Global South and Africa, Ghana, I think individually we need to take that efforts. We need to include ourselves in the process, not to wait for like that sort of thing. We have to be physically present at some places, though it is important, but even if you're not get, getting that now, and as processes are ongoing to include global south into the process, I think um, from afar, we need to make our voice heard as well. And regarding climate justice, my message is that we youths uh, should be um, involved in the decision making process and uh, through the two different constituencies like Yongo, we want our voice to be heard and all we need is climate justice to make our world climate smart and similarly uh, I'm working on Yongo Agriculture Working Group here and uh, I really want to uh, want developing countries uh, to um, adapt uh, to climate smart agriculture practices but uh, developing countries doesn't have proper funds for this. The developed countries should support to developing countries through uh, green or green climate funds and developed countries should go for mitigation measures, uh, particularly in agriculture. Uh, I think I have a really unique way of presenting, presenting or you know, reaching people, and that is poetry, right? So I've I, well, I just performed in a, um, in one of these sessions there, um, a young session, and I think through that medium, I'm able to reach a lot of people, a lot of youth in particular, because I mean, spoken word poetry is something that's uh, developing still. Um, so. That's, that's how I intend to use my voice. Uh, whatever I have to say, uh, you would hear it through spoken word poetry, through, uh, you, you know, a poem in general. So, wow. The main message, uh, I think it's focused on climate justice. Climate justice. If I don't get it right, uh, you can look at ways to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that. So it's about climate justice, it's about AIDS, and um, it is also about uh, intergenerational equity. I really wanted to, um, and this is my first time in Koi and COP, and I really wanted to see and know how the UNFCCC process happens, how negotiations happen, and I really you know, want to uh, know how the Im Paris rule, Paris uh, agreement will be implemented, it, how it will be incorporated in Paris rule book, and I want to know about the policies, implementation, and everything. And uh, going to my back home, home, back to my country, I will um, tell the other young leaders and other uh, young children. I will teach them how the negotiation process happen and how uh, we are uh, going up, uh, going for, up forward for climate justice and climate smart world. Yes, at COP. I want to increase my policy literacy on the issues casting from agriculture, adaptation, as a general adaptation, mitigation, and the Bible we are using now, or the Quran, the National Economic Contribution. What is the rule book? What is likely to be the content of it? And how can individuals, organizations, and institutions make use of that to ensure an effective implementation of the NDCs? I think we cannot wait. We need to implement this NDC. Thank you. Thank yes, you. no, thank you. Thank you.